day. I'm Bo from Collier Springs and we're up on the central coast of New South Wales on uh, the Wadigan State Forest on a beautiful sunny winter's day. We're up here testing out our uh, Bellow series of airbags in the back of this new Colorado with a camper trailer on the back. We've also got a customer's vehicle here as well and an Isuzu D-Max with a, with a caravan on the back as well. So both, both reasonable applications here loaded up ready to go to simulate what you would do uh, when holidaying with family and friends. So you've seen some of the footage from the earlier filming when we've had the airbags in both vehicles. Um, the cars then generally ride a lot firmer, a lot smoother, um, especially under the load circumstances. So what we've done now is we've taken the airbags out of one of the vehicles and you can see just by looking at the clearance here, this is considerably lower than what we were um, filming under before. So. We're ready to go and have a play without the bags in there because we really want to point out the difference between air assistance through poly air springs and no air assistance and I think you'll find the results are considerably different. All right, so as you can see now, as Paul approaches this incline here, basically we nearly needed to roll his rear guards because the, um, it's been grossly affected, um, the suspension has, without having the airbags in the back. So the handling of the vehicle is just, just absolutely chalk and cheese between airbags and no airbags. So what we want to show here as Brad starts to come up this incline is the fact, all right, stop there for a sec Brad. As you can see, we're quite stretched here. This particular ute has a two inch lift kit in it and we've got what's called our double convolute bag. So it's our biggest poly air bellow. The fact that we've basically got a massive amount of articulation there, the bag's really not breaking a sweat. So at the end of the day, we could, if the vehicle was capable, the bag's more than capable to handle more articulation than what you're seeing there. So the fact that it can hold your load, can go through the bush, can take your trips, can take your kids away on a trip safely and help the vehicle is paramount. So on the other end of the spectrum, what goes up must come down. So being that this is a solid rear axle and leaf sprung unit, one side's really high, one side's really low. So obviously this, really, this side is really low. At the end of the day, once again, the bags will compress. They are basically a bump stop filled with air, so they will compress to a certain point. But as you can see from what the other side looks like to what is this, this side is now, they're built, still not breaking a sweat. You could even clamp down even further here, which may be demonstrated as he goes further. But at the end of the day, we can basically go up and down to your heart's content without hurting the bag. <laughs> 